Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to take a look at what I got from Rio Rondo. Now, Rio Rondo specializes in making uh, things for the miniature horse hobby or the model horse hobby. And not that I was running super low on anything, but there are a few things that I needed. Um, so. This is how it arrived. Sorry about that. There's a packing slip here in the front. That I can look at in case I don't remember what it is I bought. So I haven't bought from Rio Rondo in um, years. Because uh, I haven't been in the model horse hobby. Now that I'm back... There were some things that I did need to um, work on or get because I I was low out or out on, and I they have new stuff. It's new. They've they've made some changes and some are good. Some are really good. I really appreciated the way they changed the um, website so that uh, you. Um, uh, you put in the part number and it prices everything up for you. That was always arduous for me to do it all by myself. Okay, this is Skyver Scrap Bag. And I got two of them and they still had some in stock. And uh, it's a little thick. But this is, this is Veggie Tan Skyver. And um, I can use this on pommels and things, so very happy they had the scrap. And they didn't have any regular Skyvers, so scrap bag is all they had. And they make kits, so that means that this was left over from the kits that they made. Um, 0.42 ounces. And I got two bags of it. Um, so I would check that out if you need Skyver and uh, get it while the getting's good because they are out of stock on the regular Skyver. Okay, let's take a look at the hardware. I might have some new stuff that I wanted to try. Um, so let's see. These are... These are D-rings. Um, I use these on Western working saddles. Um, I like they're flatter than jump rings. And so a lot of times I'll use those on my high end, highest end quality. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, so these... Oh, let's get my easier for you, for you to see it here these are um, I'll identify those in a bit let me see if I can come back to those these are pretty simple I got my um, <coughs> my jump rings that I was out of I've got twos and threes because those I didn't have so that's good. I can refill my jump ring thing. They are now making, um, these are, um, God, resin English stirrups and resin Western. So these are the resin uh, Western stirrups. You have to paint them, but, um, yeah, that's pretty cool much lighter weight than their um, other ones. And then these, I hate these little bags. I try to get the stuff out of these bags as soon as possible because they're such a pain to open. And then these are res uh, resin English and they're less expensive than the pewter and they also don't require the same amount of cleanup. Wow, those are pretty clean. So then, they're offering English stirrups, the pewter ones. Now, I like the weight of pewter because gravity needs to act upon um, what we're making or it doesn't look realistic. And these are lightweight, where these have weight. And these um, 
were cheaper because you clean them yourself. And I clean my English stirrups myself anyways. I'll do a video on how I do it. So these were less expensive because it still has all of the, the stuff to be cleaned off. It's all these little nibs and stuff. Um, you can buy them cleaned, but they're more expensive. So the ones that still have the residue of the casting, um, they are the ones that were less expensive. So, um, and you can go see all the prices. I don't know how long this um, video is going to be around, so I don't want to spit out prices because five years from now, somebody will go, hey, it's more expensive than that now. And I'll be like, yeah, it's like five years ago. But, um, Anyways, so here's the the ones that need to be cleaned. And I got five pair of this because I go through a lot of English. I'll take those out later. Um, these are, you know, I used to use only the cast bits. They're pewter ones. They're very thick, but uh, I always thought they were better than the um, flat ones they had. But now they have... You know, five years later, I get the plastic bag open. Okay. So these are... Put those there. Um, SP76, thank you. These are different uh, Western style stamped bits, and I got a collection of them. And um, yeah, I like these. I like these way better than the old stamped bits that were too small and they seemed dumb. And they just they just seemed lackluster, but these are gorgeous. Look at them. And uh, not a lot of cleaning required, so they got their etch, so you got your design in there. And so I got a few of the different different styles to try out. Um, oh, those are pretty. Yep, those are really pretty. So, yeah, I still have to look at my list and see what those are. Now these, I'm just going to start. These are connector bars for my bits. Come on. There you go. So these are the connector bars for the bits. And uh, there's five of them. If I have to, I can make them out of wire. But these are flat and they're a little more decorative. So, yeah, liking those. Oh, eight. So there should be just enough for each of the bits that I bought here. Okay. I know, I still have to explain these, so I'll hang on to these for here. Oh, these are for uh, rain, so the rain clips. And uh, so you have your leather lace, 16th inch leather lace. And then um, these two tabs go around the leather lace, and then this comes forward as a hook, so you can hook. So it's like removable reins. I haven't tried them before, but I got enough for two bridles there. Give those a try on a bridle sometime. And I think these are... Oh, okay. Got it. I figured out what those are. All right, bits. So this is the real reason I, I bought is um, I'm out of traditional sized cast bits and um, I really like these so I've got a couple of each uh, back when I had uh, a budget for buying tack I'd do 10 at a time and get the discount I think it's 10 to get a discount and uh, so I'd buy the bulk pricing and I'm just not in that position so we had the 602s, and we had the uh, 601, so that's 601, and 602, and then 603, so those are the only bits they really had that 
Um, they had others, but I guess they weren't very popular. So usually they'll get rid of the not popular ones when the opportunity comes. So these would be really good with those uh, bit guards because then I can glue this uh, into the bit guard. I can't do that with a jump ring, but these I can do it. So um, got those because I have uh, I have at least two English sets to make, and I I ran out of bits on the last one. So those are my English bits. Okay, these are one sixteenth inch stirrups. So they're flat, but you can see here's the stirrup. Let's see if I can. All right, let's see. Oh, sorry. I think you can see them. Um, so these are the pads to the stirrups, and then these are the actual stirrups. I've got one pair of stirrups, and they're supposed to be 1 16th inch. So um, there, there's your traditional scale, and then um, the smaller scale. And um, I thought I'd give those a try on a saddle. Uh, they call it Bajorn, I think. And then um, these are Western. So you, um, that's where the uh, rider's foot would go. So you bend these up. So you do have to assemble them, but I'm going to try those out too. And then, um, that looks like a hackamore. I don't remember asking for a hackamore. But um, that's a bit. That's also like the little bit scale or smaller, the collector scale. Um, but you could probably use it on little bits. It's right in that scale. So those are new. They've got a whole bunch of new uh, hardware for that smaller scale that people have been asking me about. So um, I would check that out because uh, if you want that live show quality of uh, having, you know, the stirrups not, the Western stirrups not so much. I think they're cool, so I'm going to try them. I only bought one. Um, and then the English stirrups, which is awesome because otherwise you have to make them out of cardboard and dip them in paint and blah, blah, blah. But... Uh, yeah, that's um, that's my my haul. Um, I hope that gives you an idea of why I talk about Rio Rondo and I support them so much because uh, it's just they they specialize in exactly what it is that we you know we need most um, in order to make our live show quality tack. And and when you get to the point where you're ready, you know, and you want to make that high quality tack, um, that's uh, that's where you go to find that uh, that tack. So uh, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me and hopefully you got as excited as I am about my uh, new haul of uh, hardware. Uh, like, subscribe, tell all your friends about the channel and have yourself a really good day.